greetings, greetings, and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. I'm checking. Ah, let's see. Well, good morning and greetings. Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa. So good to be here with you, isn't it? I just wanted to let you know, I am so excited. Isn't this exciting? Today is the first day uh, that we are going live in 2020, 2020. Clarity, clear vision. Of course, I'm sure there's going to be a huge slew of jokes for all optometrists and people who are in the vision world. So one of the things we are doing, a lot of people are setting an intention, a resolution. We talked about this, but are you doing a vision board? Have you ever done a vision board? I love vision boards, not only in the beginning of the year, but also even during the year, it doesn't matter. It's like setting goals, setting intention, and just sitting with yourself to, hmm, what do I want to create this year? What do I want to manifest in my life? And that's what vision boards are. Actually, um, I was having a meeting. I was, hello, Andy, how are you? Hello for all of you who are here. Happy New Year. Um, and I was doing a presentation last night. It was a three hour workshop for a team. Uh, it was like a team building and thank you to Virginia and Jack for inviting me. It is part of a WFG. So I'm giving a shout out to them. Great, great group. Um, they are like go-getters. They are in Pasadena close to my home, but it was not about that, it was team building. So there was about 25 who had done this beautiful vision board. And the process was, now that you created the vision board, I went in there to help them empower and become a part of their vision. So setting a vision board, every year I do it. Let me show you something that I did many years ago and I kept it right here in the office. So this was a lot about romance, what I wanted to create. I wanted to have a manifestation, manifesting something. It says live your best life, sense of natural beauty. Your daydream is your day job. Wow, constant. It's and then I have make them unforgettable. This is about my clients. Good Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh. Even learning the word Kavanaugh. Hmm. Check it out. Check. And I don't want to be a supermodel. I want to be a role model. That was my intention when I set this. And then I have this wording in here. I'm getting better each and every day at doing something good for my body, for my mind, and my spirit. So let yourself believe. And then I have something is paradise is a state of mind. See, paradise is a state of mind. And how often do we think of paradise being a state of mind? Romance being a state of mind. Success being a state of mind. So as your favorite hypnotherapist, um, I like to say that what we put on this board is what we want to create in our life. So it's like wanting to go on a trip. And before you buy your ticket, you start thinking about sharing and talking to your loved one your children, your husband, your partner, your family members or friends, whoever it is that you want to go on this journey or nobody. But first you want to think about where do I want to go? And then destinations. 
and what do I like to feel, to explore, to experience, then you start thinking and narrowing down to the places you want to go. So for me, Alaska would never be a place that I would want to visit because in my mind, Alaska is being cold and I'm a sun and beach person. So automatically, I think about being in a place that I can lay down at the beach and experience that or to go to Bali because of the experience of the spirituality and everything. Or going to Malaysia, India, Africa, for me, that would be. And I want to know, when you do a vision board, do you think that way? Do you sit and set your intention from your core, put a nice music in the background, light a candle, have a nice warm cup of coffee, tea, wine, whatever it is, your choice. So what you're doing is becoming touchy-feely before you start cutting things and placing them. And when we start to do a vision board, I like to call it, we start from the core. Something goes right in the center or on the top. Because just like clockwise, when we look at a vision board, it is how we look. So when we put our hand on manifesting it, it's like hmm, caressing. So when we caress, we start from the core, go down all the way up and around. The same way as we do everything else clockwise. The words that we put there, it has to be words that resonate with you. Don't just write things because you think it's the right thing or the words. When I do vision board, I ask everyone to cut. And before you start pasting it on your board, you allow all that to come in. Sorry. We're going to mute this. There you go. So you put all the words and all the pictures and everything in there. Then you enjoy. You enjoy by giving energy to everything you cut. And then very slowly you allow that energy to take place. It's like water. Water has energy. 92% of our body is water. You've heard about water having vibration. So our entire body, every nerve and every cell, every organ, every tissue, it's the water that vibrates. It's the, the flow of not only the liquid, blood, all that. We're so much liquid in this incredible body of ours. 9% is breath. So when we breathe in and out, oxygen that takes in into our body, hmm? we give it oxygen. And it is that that moves everything. And the rest is all earth it's the body itself because although we have a body we are not all body we we have a mind but we are not all mind we have a sound mind we have a loving heart but we're not all emotions we are the essence of creation from the inside out which in a way we can say Tapping into that subconscious mind, that's why hypnosis is so profound. Delving deeper within to see what is it that we desire. And that's one of the things we did yesterday in team building in that workshop. When I was questioning them, 
they had the words and everything in there. And I was like, is that what you desire in your life? So what they said and a few of them, what they put over there, it was not matching. So the vibration of what we want to create, it becomes harder to manifest. It's like coming to me and when a client comes in uh, wanting to be hypnotized, you know hypnosis is an internal process. There is no force. I do not force hypnosis on anyone. There is no control that I have over someone else. But what it is, is I guide them so they help themselves and give themselves permission to delve into that state of relaxation that state that we call trance state in a way our vision board when done properly what we intend to create what we desire to manifest either physically mentally emotionally health and wellness relationship and romance finances a house jewelry whatever and yesterday, one of them, one of the uh, ladies had this beautiful princess cut jewelry and all that. And I asked her, that is beautiful. Are you ready for this? That is something that you desire. Do you have any jewelry? And she said, yes. And she has the jewelry. But she's not wearing her jewelry. So if we are not appreciative of the things that we have if we are constantly looking to bring in and ask the universe god whatever it is that you ask you hope you want to manifest we have to start not only by evoking what it is that we desire from the past but embracing what is which is the reality what we already have and if I am not embracing what I already have, the jewelries, the car, the house, the family, the love, the relationships, then why would I or anyone in my belief, by all means, this is only this person's BS, which is belief system. And I think, why would the universe give us more of when we're not even appreciating the ones that we already have? So, setting this, it's a whole different ritual. I like to call it, we're going to sit. I'm having a vision board, a VIP vision board happening on January 12th. It is going to be Sunday. Sunday is going to be so powerful um, because this Sunday, uh, the universe, all the cells, and I'm not into astrology, but they, they told me it's a powerful day. So I'm going to be away in a seminar for Friday and Saturday, coming back Saturday night to celebrate my girlfriend's uh, big, huge birthday. But then Sunday, we're going to be ready. It is a day of a blessing. And we're having this VIP workshop with only 12 people. 12. And then as we gather, we set intention. We start with a prayer, all of us. And once we do that, then we begin to cut and paste and cut and paste with music in the background, with candles around, with aromatherapy with a little bit nourishing food and everything that is going to nourish this fruit body of ours instead of making it heavy and dense. Then, you know what? Once it's all done, we're going to do a full guided visualization to embed all that we want to manifest. And we begin this year by 
this empowering feeling. I got, I just got goosebumps by even talking about it. It's this in itself is very important because I want you to realize as I help my clients, um, it's not that I cry, but I also become emotional when they are going through something. I'm human. And as I am speaking about setting intentions, it's as if I am embedding whatever it is that I created in here. And this was set there. I have another one that I created, this beautiful vision board. We, we were a bunch of girls that we did it yes, uh, last year and six of us, we sat, it, we sat down and we did that. And I can say 90% of that vision board has already been manifested. When I look at it, I'm going, wow, boom, 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 boom. It's all done. Even right here, I can show you on top right there. You see that little doggy? That was after Bodhi. And my Winston is so much alike this white little dog. You know, things do not happen to you. They happen for you. I keep saying this and I've truly become a true believer in the good, the bad, the right, the wrong. It doesn't matter. But whatever it is, when it happens, I want you to take responsibility and ownership and realize it is part of your choice. Success is a choice. Marriage is a choice. Having a baby or not is a choice. Being healthy is a choice. We can't say, I want to be well, I'm going to go biking and everything, and then come and have cigarettes or marijuana or whatever and say, you know what? I am healthy. I'm not condemning or in pro of anything. I'm just saying choices in life, what we put inside, how we speak in itself is the words that come out of our mouth is the first words we hear. When parents argue, children hear. And I shared this yesterday. I said, there is nothing far greater than self-pride. Self-pride trumps everything. It does. The person who studies law to go to, uh, to become a lawyer, they have to pass the bar. And it doesn't matter if you finish school or not, you cannot truly practice and call yourself an attorney until you have passed the bar. You can work in a law firm, you can do everything, but that passing of the bar, it's that, yes, I did it. No one studies for you. Passing securities exam, no one studies for you. You do it. So that self-pride, accomplishing it, and choosing the words, not if I pass the bar, it's once I pass the bar. That means I'm already creating, manifesting that I am passing the bar. Once I pass the bar, I will be working so-and-so. Once I pass my securities, this is what I will do. Once I manifest or I sit, and I bring my intention to what is it that I want to create. Let me give you an example. I've talked about my client. By golly, I love one of my clients. Just not that I don't love any of my clients. I'm just sharing with you what I love about her was she came and sat down and said, I am ready. I am ready to make a change in my life. And as I've mentioned, change truly begins when two things are in place. 
One, the pain is so excruciating and we no longer want to be in that pain. We no longer want to feel in a loss. We no longer want to feel uh, overweight or sick or any of that. The pain is no good anymore. I'm done. I'm sick and tired of being in that position. Or the reward of what we're getting passing that bar because there is already an offer from one of the most top prestigious companies for you to have an office there. Hmm, that reward. It's amazing. You can taste it. You can want it. I want you to think about setting your goals and intention. You're creating your vision board like that. Everything you put in there is wanting to step into it. So if it is romance, the image of the person that you want, the characteristics, find words that you resonate with the characteristics. Just don't go into rich and handsome and sexy and this and that. But do you want humor in your life? Do you want to be with someone who holds your hand? Do you want to be with someone just the opposite? That they have their own life and you have your own life? And when you are together, you are the power couple. Do you want someone who's going to help you travel? So everything is about what you desire to help you become the best version of what you desire. Our jobs, our relationships, just like my client wanting to manifest this incredible, in nine sessions, she's dropped over 15 pounds, over three inches, and it's not the weight. It's not dieting. It is not denying herself any food. It's not that she's exercising out there, pumping three hours a day. But doing the work consistently for herself. And then voicing things that she was shameful and expressing it, releasing it. And I've always said, express it versus suppressing it. Do it with someone who you know will hold space for you that cares for you, that will not drop you in the middle of the drawer or anything. So having that place of knowing that you are safe, creating that safety with friendships, with your home, clearing the clutter, Instead of hoarding, releasing, organizing, putting things in place. Even your vision board. Is there room to breathe? Or is everything on each other? Give yourself permission to allow yourself breathe, love, caress, and then close your eyes and just imagine each word, each picture, and set and let it set in. That's how we do vision boards. So I hope this year, 2020, you start with appreciating yourself, accepting yourself, 
acknowledging and knowing that you have a gift and that all the blessings from above surround you. In 2020, you see things more clearly. It's a power year. So this moment, I'm going to take a moment and see if there is anything any questions that I can answer, if there is anything that you would like me to respond. Let's see. Nice vision board, WFG is a great group. Well, thank you, James. Thank you. It is a great group. Um, you know, I met this incredible couple and they help me. I help them. I help their team. The team helps my people. So it's not about life is not about the money the money in itself comes when we put the energy of what we can do with all that prosperity i like to call it prosperity you see this beautiful um bracelets that i created a part of this bracelet which has my uh charms uh, with my logo in the back, it says, heal within. Because no matter what we do, when we place it on our hand, with the intention knowing what it is, we're always setting, saying, I am ready to heal within. Of course, I know not everybody needs to heal. But whatever, if we have any pain, if we have any hurt, discomfort, automatically, this heal within. The intention is already set. I did a whole prayer on these, the charms before I put them on the bracelets. So a part of this bracelet is the affirmation cards. And the affirmation card is for you to repeat the affirmations three times or come up with your own word your power word for the year. Yesterday, someone said intention. Someone said power. Another person said passion. Another came. Another person came up with, um, what was it? Manifest. Uh, everyone has their own power. Power word. So as you do the affirmations on this card, and in my book, I have many more affirmations this book is also available on my website you can always go to healwithin.com get my book these will be in the shop by the end of this week so you can purchase each each one is with different chakra colors that resonates with your energy line so as we are doing this you can do your own affirmations but I like my own that I use for me. I evoke and release the past. I embrace the here and now. And I evolve to the perfect image of me. I matter. Because my word is individuality. And I matter. Is something that I want everyone to reiterate and to know when I say you matter it's about you also saying I matter it's not about being self-centered being selfish means you are saying who you are matters so I want one of those bracelets Annette Abnus by all means Annette John walk over come touch let's do this let's do it together let's manifest more for your clients for my clients for us because it's about sharing it's about giving it's about manifesting if you want me to come to your organization if you have a group that you want to get together at home or in your company you want to do a luncheon bag by all means I will be more than happy to come. I will bring my bracelets. And these are only $18. 
uh, it's about one and eight. One is a leader, eight is harmony, and together it comes to a nine, which is transformation. The sessions that I do, it's either one session or nine sessions. Why? Because we become the best version by doing the work and transforming. Not everyone is here to transform, but the work of transformation, the birthing, the cycle in life of birth is nine months. So I like number nine. And nine times nine, and whatever you divide nine to, it comes to a nine or zero. So nine is in my in my theory a power number so those are 18 dollars by all means if you want come on in so any questions yes that's true arena john what is true did i miss something if there is anything by all means ask me text me text me at 818-221-2797 i'll be more than happy to answer any and all texts uh, when you text me automatically it comes to me uh at all times there it is there is a text i love this this is how fast it works a text just came in and it says hi i'm available and if i am not when i am with a client or something like that the moment i am done i will grab my phone and respond to all texts so this is Lisa Bavari, your favorite, your hypnotherapist, your guide, your, I'm not a guru. I'm here only to share and teach what I have learned. 21 years of doing hypnotherapy. Believe me, I have worked with six-year-olds and my oldest client has been 92 years old. So the gamut of what I have heard, the gamut of what I can work with, and I have the power and the experience is what I share. And if I don't know, I will find a way and bring it to you. So much excitement, so much is happening. And hello, Michael. Hi, Haas. Uh, Michaela, Judy, Ty, how are you doing, guy? Are you feeling better? My friend, Ty, are you feeling better? I hope you are. It's a new year, new beginning. Love you, man. Chris, Chris Blazy, for all of you who came in, Garnick, thank you for joining. Thank you for being here. And by all means, send me an emoji. If you are listening, if you are here live, do your emojis, send me a message. Or if this is a reply, hashtag reply. If you want to text me, 818-221-2797. This is Lisa Bubari, and God bless you. Let's start this incredible year with 2020 vision. And if you want to join my uh, private VIP uh, vision board that is going to happen this coming Sunday, January 12th from 2 to 4 p.m., maybe a little bit longer with refreshing setting intention. Text me, let me know, and we're not going to advertise it big because it's very private. It's a VIP and there's other gifts with it. That said, Thank you for being here, being present. God bless you. And may the universal light surround you with white light. Bye-bye.